this has been a real process. And I think back to when it started, right after David McAtee was killed. And Robert said, keeping this quiet, I wish you all could have driven. We didn't have these meetings in Clay County. We didn't have them in Frankfurt. And if you all had driven and seen me and Robert and Gerald and Julie sitting in a building down on, on 18th and Broadway with a bunch of community members, here's what we had in our hands, a pen and a blank sheet of paper. Because we went to listen. And we know it's time for the General Assembly to do something. You've heard revitalization a lot in these discussions about the West End of Louisville that we're talking about. I want to impress upon you, it is revitalization. The West End was home to Brown and Williamson, was home to Philip Morris, was home to Rubber Town. They didn't see the benefits from those tax dollars and those jobs. What they had was a redlined area that told people where they could and couldn't live and discrimination and banking and housing practices. We have to go in and understand that background to be able to draft something to get through people as diverse as the Kentucky General Assembly that will help the community that we're intent upon helping. The first thing we heard is that has to be community driven change. That can't just come from us. We are the, the legislators up here who ultimately pass the law. But the change needs to be led and driven by the community. We accomplish that with not just the composition of the board, but the fact the board self perpetuates. It chooses its own leaders. They're not going to be people in Frankfurt leading this. But that board reflects what the neighborhood looks like. That's a big part of what we're trying to do. Senator Stivers told you he thought we changed it last on a Sunday night. That's the one thing I'll disagree with you on, Robert. We had a Zoom at 8.15 that morning <laughs> before the press conference at 10 o'clock where we were still making changes and we are still making changes as we continue to host informational sessions and, and get input from the community. One thing we are going to look at, we have the, the guardrails put in for displacement with the tax structure. We have another guardrail with the makeup of the board, what the board can do, the directives of the board to invest in residents and businesses who are already there, to make sure that there are affordable housing components built of any project that comes in. But we are also looking at and have been working on rent gouging statutes, knowing that 60% of the people who live in the TIF development zone um, are renters. I, I want to leave time for questions, but I do want to say that we've, we've appreciate your consideration of this bill and thank all the people who've worked on it.